Hello and welcome back again to Dragon Age Awakening, uh, in which we just finished the next main plot mission. The Righteous Path. You encountered a talking duck spawn of frightening intellect and power. He seemed obsessed with the Grey Wardens. Yeah, I gotta say this, uh, again, this quest left me kinda confused. There are definitely more questions than answers um, that I got from this quest. So, uh, the architect captured us, but he didn't kill us, presumably because he wanted to run some experiments. But to what goal is still unclear, and I hope we can find out more uh, in the next uh, main mission. Um, also, apparently, uh, Velana's sister and that dwarf lady are helping the architect, and it appears that they are helping them uh, out of their free will. So, um, yeah, that's pretty interesting as well. Anyway, on a completely unrelated note, uh, that dragon spite uh, bow that I gave to Nathan looks really, really great. <laughs> I, I really like how it looks like. Sadly, it is uh, not as good as his um, family bow. I mean, I, I suppose it is better against dragons, but uh, I don't think we're going to fight more dragons uh, right away, so <laughs> we'll give him his family bow back. Also, I took a different shield. This is a Landsmeet shield. Um, I'm still keeping Duncan's shield, however. Not just because it's a very nice shield, but technically it actually belongs to Alistair, because I gave it to him as a gift. So I just consider this to be a loan. <laughs> and um, I gave her the Staff of the Lost, which is... Uh, obviously the stuff that we got, got from the Lost in, in the last main quest. Also, you need an injury kit. Um, let's do this now. But yeah, I don't think there's anything else we can do in this place, so... We may as well leave again, and go back to Vigil's Keep, and um, start with uh, Velana's joining, probably. Let's see, I can't... no, I cannot go through here can't go out there, so let's just continue in this direction. Okay, this is the way to the exit. Oh, and this, yeah, this is the... the architect blocked this, this passage before he disappeared, so... <laughs> uh, we can't, we can't go there. So yeah, let's, let's go back to, to Vigil's Keep. Um, we have some side quests to turn in. Oh. Unfortunate. No, it is lost to us now. There is no point in returning, Uther. Your former comrades are impressive. They will be difficult to convince. Hmm. No, Uther. I will fulfill my promise to you. All is not lost yet. Come. We must prepare for battle. I wonder what he means by former comrades. Is, is she a Grey Warden or a Legion of the Dead? But yeah, this is this is interesting. I, I really wonder what this guy is planning. Alright, uh, yeah, let's let's go back to Vigil's Keep, turn some side quests, and we can check out if we can talk to Velana, maybe. And I think I have a few gifts to give away as well. Oh, what's going on here? This doesn't look good. Thank the Maker you arrived. Things are getting out of hand. My son is starving! Open the granaries! Bloody feed your people! <laughs> Grave times, Commander. The common folk are getting desperate. Maybe you can say a few words. Calm them down. Make them see reason. Barrel, you don't coddle a revolt. You put it down. <laughs> Just give me the order. Oh. Um. Oh dear. Yeah, I I definitely want to use persuade or intimidate. Mm. 
Um, while I don't really like the idea of intimidating those poor people <laughs> who are only hungry, um, I I feel that it's probably the best option because her intimidate score should be a lot higher than her persuasion because obviously her strength is a lot higher than her cunning and I haven't really invested anything into cunning for quite a while so um, I guess intimidation would be the safer bet here <sighs> yeah let's do this I kill darkspawn by the score what are a few peasants what what do you mean You will all die and your families will suffer. You're bluffing. You wouldn't do that. <laughs> Try me. They'll kill us. Wait. All right. Um. I don't know how you did that. <laughs> Men, stand down. Yeah, I just happened to be I'll very be intimidating. I would have preferred to persuade them, but... You know, I gotta stick to my talents. Sigrun, I understand how difficult surviving poverty can be. When I came back from the free marches, I had nothing. No money, no family. Nothing. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. You have my respect for surviving what you did. <laughs> I, I didn't survive. Legion of the Dead, remember? <laughs> oh. Yeah, you, you two, you can bond over that, I guess. <laughs> Uh, right, I do have a bunch of side quests to turn in, so let's do this first of all. Oh, you're back to visit old Dworkin? Um, you're in luck. I found some lyrium sand. Splendid. Truly splendid. We've enough lyrium sand to keep us busy for a long time. Thanks for your help. Please, take these. Use them to give those beasties a <laughs> what for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I got more bombs. Yeah, I did. Um, oh, and our new can canary friend is here as well. Trade here is good. Thank you. Except he doesn't actually trade with us. Uh, I have some more de deposits for her. You're back. You need anything? Uh, I found some more deposits. <laughs> this will help a great deal. Wade, the commander found a silverite deposit. Armor and weapons could be made with this. I'll just get to it then. <laughs> no one appreciates. Uh, don't worry, Wade. I have something for you as well. Yes, commander? Um, yes. I found this ancient bark in the heart of a living tree. Let me see, let me see. <gasps> oh, amazing. <laughs> this might be heartwood. Uh, what's hardwood? I'm not exactly sure. The Dalish elves are so prickly about <laughs> sharing. If I were allowed to experiment with this, I might be able to make a bow. Or a shield. Yes. I can't do that right now, you understand. Here's a list of materials I need. They may be a trifle hard to come by, but you must get them. Um, alright. What do you need? Oil, cat gut, flawless ruby, grandmaster lightning rune. Um, I do have the oil. I may have some flawless ruby because I put some some gemstones into my storage. And I may have a Grandmaster Lightning rune. I'm not exactly sure if the rune that I have in my sword is a Grandmaster one. But I can can check it out. Um, also, let me have another You're look back. at your store. You need anything? Oh, I found more. Apparently. <laughs> this will help a great deal. Viridium. Hmm. Amaranthine abounds with mineral wealth. Master Wade has more than he needs to equip all of your men suitably. Thank you so much for finding all this <laughs> dreary metal. Haran, you must be happy. <laughs> Ecstatic. Now, now, no more time to waste. <laughs> all right. Elemental requirements. Wade has all the metal he needs to make armor for your soldiers. Very good. You're back. You need anything? Uh, let me see your oh, shop. Of course. Um, because, if I remember correctly, yes, you had the Grey Rodden heraldry. And I could use one for my new shield. 
Um, also, I thought I had more stuff for Wade. Yes, Commander? Apparently not. Um, yeah, the hardwood was for him. I thought the fresh dragon egg was for him as well. Oh well. I, I will find some use for it eventually. So how does this heraldry stuff work? Use. Oh yes. Yeah, that is much better. Very good. Um, yeah, I do have granite for Vordrick. Any luck finding the granite? Um, the Wending Wood has some granite. Splendid. But I can't risk my men to darkspawn attacks. You'll have to send soldiers to secure the site. Uh, how important is this? You can't neglect your stronghold. If the vigil falls, where would that leave your lands? Merchants and farmers aren't much against an army of darkspawn. I see your point. Uh, you'll have your guards. Thank you, Commander. The vigil will not fall, I swear it. Quest completed. You found the grant that Valdrick needed. Alright, so I think um, I have done everything outside. Except yeah, I can continue the quest for Sergeant Marvelous, which is down in the basement. And apparently I can examine the statue, so let's do this. I should hate her, but I don't. I can respect a woman who fights for freedom and justice. Um... Uh, but she's human. I can look past petty hatred when I have reason to. She freed the elven slaves. Funny, isn't it? Andraste fought a tyrannical empire, only to have her followers become one themselves. <laughs> yeah, isn't this, isn't this how it often ends? <laughs> mm. An interesting observation. People with power never fail to abuse it. Even those with good intentions. And wouldn't it be the same if the Dalish had power? No! I seek justice for my people and... <laughs> that is all. We would not be like... I, I wish to end this conversation. <laughs> Let us be on our way. <laughs> she actually approves. I thought I would get some disapproval from her for that. Okay, let's check with the private and Commander. then let's go inside. Any messages? Just give me a moment. Nope. All right, let's let's go inside. Um, Mistress Woolsey wants something from us, so let's check that out quickly. I do not know where you found them. The canary seems especially <laughs> dubious. But the vigils market is busy once again. This will certainly aid in our upcoming efforts. With the surplus in the treasury, I took the liberty of getting you this. Well done, Commander. Oh wow, that is actually a lot of money. Trade must flow. You've, you've persuaded a good number of merchants to come to the keep. Alright, so, um, yeah, I think before I take care of Velana's joining, I want to clean out my inventory. So I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff and store a bunch of stuff and I'll bring you back once I have done that. Alright, and we're back again. I cleaned out my inventory quite drastically, put a lot of stuff in storage too, and I also leveled up all my companions. And as you can see, I have now a fire enchanted sword again, because um, the rune in my sword was indeed a Grandmaster Lightning rune. And I think I will use this for uh, Wade's quest. So I just took a fire rune that I still had in my storage. Um, Alright, I'm going to uh, take care of Velana's joining now. And Come after on. that we will uh, do some side quests. Yes, another wishes to undertake the joining. I'll make the preparations. From this moment forth, Velana, you are a Grey Warden. And let it be. Okay. Yep, this this looks good. <laughs> she yet draws breath, Commander. She will recover. Very good. 
Alright, this is completed as well. And um, I had a look at the remaining quests, and there actually isn't that much to be done. I mean, these are pretty much all completed and just need to be turned in, all of which has to be done in Amaranthine. Uh, Sigrun's roguish past is something that I need to do in Amaranthine as well. Um, I don't think I can do anything in in this regard for now. I just need to wait for Owen to speak to me. And I still have two larger quests that can be done. One is um, Law and Order, which is a Smuggler's quest. And it comes from beneath, which is uh, the quest we found in the basement of Vigil's Keep. So I think what I'm going to do, first of all, um, I have a few gifts that I can give away. So I will do this first of all. Um, the Elven Trinket is most likely for Velana. And, oh yeah, I do need a flawless ruby as well for Wade. Um, the Elven Prayer for the Dead is for Velana as well, I would assume. Um, right, the Spyglass is for Sigrun. She explicitly wanted one of those. And... I would guess that the potted plant is for Sigrun as well, because she likes trees and nature and stuff like that. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about the rest, so I'll just leave them for now. Um, actually, the earring. Uh, it, it reminded me, in Origins, uh, you had earrings as well that you could give away. And I actually looked at all my companions' ears to see if they were actually wearing earrings. And I think none of them did. <laughs> But um, in this case, uh, I know that Anders is wearing earrings, so I would assume this is for him. But Anders is maxed out currently, so I'd just keep it for now. Okay, um, yeah, let's give those gifts to Velana and Sigrun. Thank you. This is a lovely gift. All right. And this one as well. Thank you. This is a lovely gift. And Sigrun can have the potted plant. For me? Oh, wow! <laughs> and the spyglass. Oh! Oh, it's exactly as Varlin described, but shinier. May I keep it? I know I shouldn't. We're not supposed to have belongings in the Legion. <laughs> yeah, just, just keep it. As you say, Commander. Thank you. All right, um, lots of approval. I'm already War Vivalana. I'm doing pretty good with Nathaniel as well. I think only Anders is higher than, than him. Yeah, Anders is, is maxed out. Uh, Ogren's doing okay. So, um, yeah, I actually, um, I can give her one more skill. I'm not entirely sure what I what I want to do with her. <laughs> um sure, let's let's take petrify. So, um next thing that I want to do, also I noticed that um, apparently the egg we found is now over here. That's interesting. Um I think what I would like to do for the rest of the episode, I will go to Amaranthine just to turn in all of these quests and to do Sigrun's uh, companion quest. And I think after that I will return and I will take care of our basement because uh, there was a lot of stuff going on. We found this crypt and we needed four keys and we only found one. So there is still some work to be done. As for the Smuggler's Quest, I will probably leave it for now and I will do it after the next main mission. But it's not that much uh, stuff that I can do, so um, the next story mission will probably start a <coughs> lot earlier. Um, but but yeah, let's let's go and go to Amaranthine. Let's yes. bring along our new mage. I do need yes. Sigrun for the 
companion quest, and uh. Owen can come along as well. All right, um, let's go. Is it true the dwarves are dwindling? The dark spawn always at the gates of Orzammar, threatening to overwhelm you. Yes, <laughs> and yes, it's only a matter of time. We elves are few in number, and every one of us is precious. But you, you isolate your castless, forbid them from bearing weapons, and you saw what happened in Cal Hiral. Yes, well, the noble caste has a stick up its collective butt. A <laughs> stick called tradition. <laughs> well said, Ogren. Yeah, okay, let's let's just go to Amaranthine and take care of our business there. Um Yeah, this is Morgus Cove. Okay, let's let's go to Morbus first and turn in that quest. And let's see if we find anything else around here. Alright, we have some good news for you. You're back! Have you any news? <laughs> um, I've dealt with your problem. The killing should stop now. Really? Oh, oh, that's wonderful news. I hope the culprits have been brought to justice. <laughs> uh, they have, in a sense. I uh, promised a donation, didn't I? Here, take this. With the Merchant's Guild's compliments. <laughs> All right, thank you. If there is anything else the Merchant's Guild can do for the Grey Wardens, do not hesitate to ask. It was a pleasure to meet you, Warden Commander. All right. Quest completed. Tr trading troubles. I think I have something for him as well. So good to see you again. It seems I owe you a reward, yes? Yes, of course. And another quest completed, Mafra's Monuments. And I think, yeah, the Merchant Goods as well. So what do I still need to turn in? The Sylvan Wood and the Ring. Alright, let's go. Uh, wait, let's I'll have get a look. On it. Okay, nothing new here. So let's go to the Chanter and turn in that quest as well. And let's have a look for uh, what was her name? Misha. She's somewhere around here as well, apparently. <laughs> so, what are you doing tonight? Sleeping. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> with a knife under my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, Ogren, what's the point? I'm in the Legion of the Dead. Nothing between us will last. Exactly. All the fun, none of the commitment. Uh. <sighs> exactly, Sigrun. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, he's still he's still very bad at this. Uh, let's have a look at the tree. This is a beautiful tree. I did not expect to find one strong and thriving in a Shetland town. <laughs> Yeah, nature always finds a way. Nature does indeed. You may not recognize, but this is a Dal Amithal, the tree of Mithal. Our keeper's staves are cut from its like. Our keeper, Ilshe, had a staff cut for me, for when I would take on her role. So you were never given your staff? Clearly not. And besides, <laughs> why do you care? <sighs> Enough of this. I wish to move on. Um, all right. Um, yeah, I have a quest for you. Repent and have faith, and you shall know the peace of the Maker's benediction. <laughs> what was that for? Anders disapproves, even though he isn't even in my party. Oh, good work, Anders. <laughs> okay, um... I need to find the wife, and I need to find Misha. Um, now where would I go look for that? Uh, there's still some stuff on top of that building. 
For example, a cage. Hmm. Interesting. I may need to check all those battlements again. Uh, yeah, uh, let's have a quick save and then let's check the tavern, I guess. Alright, um... This is her, right? You. Going to get me kicked out of Amaranthine too? I know that n nothing I say will make things better, so I want to give you this. A ring. What <laughs> is this, a proposal? You're not my type. It... it'll fetch a fair price, even on the surface, to... to help you rebuild your life. This looks like the crest of House Volney. Stole this off a noble, <laughs> did you? Don't be so hostile. She tries... she tries to make things up again. All oh, right, this is his... Uh, this is her friend, Valen. Mia, yeah, keep the ring. I'll give Misha some gold. How much are we talking? I reckon this thing's worth at least 20 sovereigns. <laughs> well, 20 sovereigns it is. You've a true friend here, Sigrun. Try not to ruin it. And here's your ring. It must be important to you. It is. Thank you, Misha. This will go a long way. I could start another business. You've done right, Sigrun. Hmm. <laughs> Runs happily. <laughs> All right, so I guess this this is done as well. Um, let's have a look at that. Secret has apologized to Misha and is now at peace with her criminal past. All right, I do the blight orphans want something from us? No. Also, um, yeah, Nida, last wishes. This is the wife we are looking for. So. Let's have a look here as well. Bran, I don't know this person. <laughs> is there something you want? My companion is not comfortable around strangers. Oh. Oh, has has she been cheating on her husband? <laughs> well, <laughs> it's it's not really my business though, so um yeah, I'm Warden Commander Scardi. I see. This this must be about Keenan, then. I... um... sweetheart, could you give us a moment alone? Hm. Is... is Keenan dead? Uh, yes, he died making the world better for all of us. He said that, did he? His wedding ring. Thank you for bringing this back to me. Keenan always said he joined the Wardens to give me a better life. Was it really better for me to be alone in a strange country, wondering if we'd ever have a family? To defeat the Darkspawn, we all make sacrifices. Keenan made the sacrifice willingly. He never asked me if I felt the same. Love can only take you so far. Oh well. You gave Keaton's wedding ring to Nida. I guess it doesn't really matter now any anymore because he is dead and she can basically do what she wants anyway. All right, uh, I I think yeah, I have recorded for long enough now, so I'm going to end the episode here. And in the next episode, I will return to Vigil's Keep, and I will um, take care of the dark spawn that. Uh, is infecting our basement because I think this is a more pressing issue than the smugglers running around here. So yeah, I will do the uh, basement quest, <laughs> so to speak, and then I think I will start the next main mission already because there isn't really that much stuff to be done. I mean, I still need some material for weight, but I may find some of it on the next main mission. And I'm going to keep the Smuggler's Quest for after the next main mission. So yeah, uh, thanks again for watching and see you next time.